Today was a day we will not soon forget. A Toledo police officer gunned down in the line of duty. Tonight there are more questions than answers as we all try to put together the pieces all while the community tries to heal. Our Ariel Onstott live in West Toledo at the scene where all of this happened and it's become a makeshift memorial for Officer Anthony Dia. Ariel, this response simply feels overwhelming tonight. Yeah, Tyler, overwhelming for every single person who's come out and visited the memorial. I think one of the most overwhelming moments of the day for everyone was before sunset when Anthony Dia's wife and two sons came to say goodbye. There was not a dry eye as his sons cried and family members and friends held each other and tried to offer support. And even after the sun has set, people are still continuing to come out, put flowers, words of encouragement and appreciation as they try to say goodbye as well. With the loss of an officer, thousands of hearts shatter in an instant. And the worst when you find out how and why, you know, just so senseless. It's just so senseless uh, on how he lost his life and why he lost his life. So it was it was devastating. Officer Dia's last words were, tell my family I love them. Now Dia's community is saying we love you. Balloons, flowers and other tokens pay tribute to him across multiple spaces of the Home Depot parking lot. This is where he responded to his last call to serve and protect. Some people feel a responsibility to pay their respects. My sister was a police officer with Toledo. I had friends who were Toledo police officers and Toledo police officers have been really, I mean, that child did not deserve to die like that. Others want to teach their children. One mother visited the memorial and came back with her husband and two sons in tow. We've watched throughout June as the unrest began and we saw the, the racial tensions and we, we want to learn, we want to understand. Um, and we have friends that are police officers, so this is very, very moving to us, and it's not something I want to see happen in my friends. No matter who you are, you can feel the heartbreak. It's heard in stifled sobs. It's seen in the hugs of grieving brothers and sisters in blue. It's felt in the grim reality that a brother, son, husband, and a human life is not coming back. He is just a a great kid. He was just a, a great young man. He was a great father. Um, he was a great son, great brother. Everyone that knew Anthony, he just was always smiling. He's just a great kid. Um, it's just so tragic. And I think one of the things that makes this so tragic overall is that everyone who's come to visit says he was one of the good ones. A woman came by just a bit ago sharing a story about how Officer Dia helped her son when he was in crisis and helped keep him out of jail. Everyone has nothing but fond words and memories to say of him. But despite this tragedy, if there is one ray of hope, it is everyone supporting each other, coming together to offer words of encouragement and love to get through this very difficult situation. WTOL will continue to keep you updated as we try to honor D Officer Dia's memory and keep you updated as the situation progresses in the coming days. Reporting live, I'm Ariel Onstott, WTOL 11.